have we got a haul for you. Just gonna give you guys a little tour of what my car looked like after my $700 thrift haul over two days. And <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad now that I'm looking at it again. Like crazy. There's actually a lot of shipping boxes in here, so like it's not as bad, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> my bins bag. And there's the trunk. Like stuff probably gonna fall out. This door I'm not even going to open because there's like definitely stuff that's going to fall out. But this is a Lululemon bag. Pretty awesome. So yeah. Hi guys, I'm Lauren. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. If you're new here, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark Canada. Which means that I go out and buy copious amounts of clothing secondhand. And I resell it for profit online. It's funny to put it into perspective because I just had this stuff like all in my office. But now that I have it like right out here in the open, I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of stuff. And all my social media links are below. I also do some selling on eBay. So if you like thrift hauls, Poshmark videos, and like DIY kind of content, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel as well as giving this video a thumbs up because it really does help me out in the long run and thank you in advance for that. If you haven't signed up for Poshmark yet, make sure to use my code thriftgoddess and you'll receive $15 for free. I'm already like dreading this haul. Like this is insane. Like where am I going to put everything after I've shown it? All right, so breakdown. I spent $500 at Value Village, two different locations, I think. No, three, maybe three. Two or three different Value Villages. One Salvation Army and the rest is from the bins. So $500 was from conventional thrift stores and $200 at the bins. And let me tell you, I probably got more of the bins just because that's how it works. Like it's pay by the pound and thrift stores charge like sometimes crazy amounts for each of their pieces. It's a little bit confusing because some of it I have photographed and some of it I haven't. Some of it I have recorded in my counter to figure out my cost of goods for the bins. So I kind of have it separated that way so I'm gonna try and keep it like that. Okay so I'm just gonna get started. I'm like where do I go first? All right I'm gonna go right here. So this Lululemon bag this was bought from Value Village and it does have like cracking on the straps. But I was like brainstorming, I'm like, why don't I just like sand all that off and then just like take a fabric dye and like turn it black. So that might be a little project for me to try with that. Next I have these, oh my gosh, I already have, I just listed a pair of these. I have like two pairs of these, so I can literally just copy the listing and adjust the size. That's like, how handy is that? So it's just a pair of Lululemon little crop capris. You know what, I'm literally just gonna like throw everything over here and then deal with it later. Cause this is like too overwhelming for me to deal with right now. Then I have a pair of Lululemon, another pair of capris. They're like the Astro style, they still have the rip tag on them. That's pretty great. Oh yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count the items that I got from Value Village and count the items from the bins. So you can see like the price comparison. I'm obviously gonna have a lot more stuff from the bins and not as much from Value Village. Next from Value Village I have a dust bag, which I have sold quite a few of actually. Dior. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. And yeah, a little dust bag, because those sell like fairly well and they're pretty cheap. Next, this was a great find. This is a Tory Burch sweater. There is a lot of Tory Burch on this haul actually. This is from Value Village, just a cream colored knit pullover sweater. And this was the Value Village in Leamington because my boyfriend had a work trip there so I went and stayed in the hotel with him for a little bit. This is a Lululemon very common scoop neck tank. These are fun. So these are Lululemon and they have pineapples all up the side. A pair of leggings. Never seen those before. And this is a Lululemon racerback tank top in a nice blue color. Really good condition. I actually have like two separate totes just for Lululemon tops. So I have one of them full and my other one's like about halfway full. Another Lululemon racerback tank. These are a pair of capris and they have like a nice colorful band at the top. Trust me, like the rest of the day is gonna be me photographing. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. 
So this tank top, it's a scoop neck, it's got a really pretty colorful pattern, and I literally sold the matching pants like a few days before I actually found this, but that would have been cool if I put a lot of them together. Another Lululemon tank top, this is like a neon yellow green color. Are you guys sick of Lululemon yet? Because I'm not. Another Lulu tank top. It's got like a ribbed front to it, a little mesh detail here, it's really cute. I swear, I don't have any other word to describe anything other than cute. Like, I need a new vocabulary. This is a no, I think it's called the No Limits tank top. And it's got blue and purple flowers. Alright, moving on to something that's not Lululemon. This is by the brand Elodie, and I had recognized it, and I googled it, and sure enough it was Anthropology. So it's this cropped mustard yellow sweater, it's got like a scallop bottom to it. Really nice color too. I was obsessed with this. So this is from Salvation Army. And it's like the, the color that I'm obsessed with. So it's from Zara. It's new with tags. Retails for $22.90. And it's this really soft little like scarf thing. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. There I go again with the cute. It's so adorable. How about that? How's that for a change? Then I have a pair of shoes. Like the bottom of these literally look exactly like teaks. They're very well made. They're by a brand called... Well, I have to peel the tag off to see. Simar something Y Samara. And they have this real rabbit f I think it's rabbit fur. Mm. I feel like it's not soft enough to be rabbit fur. But it has real fur on here. I remember looking up comps and they were good, but I just can't remember the brand name right now. Then I have a Lulu bra in a nice purple color. And another purple Lululemon tank top. Like, I'm gonna have so much Lulu up on my closet. Like, it's gonna be crazy. Like, I'm pretty sure this whole bag here is just Lulu. Most of it. This is another tank top. And it's polka dot, and it's got mesh here. Never seen this style before. I think I already found a stock photo for it, but I can't remember the name of the tank. Another Lulu tank top, just a basic Y back. This was a great find at Salvation Army. I don't think they noticed it was Lululemon. So they had it priced really cheap, which was great. Cause like, look at this, it's a little scary. Cause like, look, there's a Lulu sign there and it blends right into the fabric. So I'm guessing like someone just saw it and was like, oh, cute skirt, but we're gonna price it real cheap. And we have another Lulu tank top. This one's white and green and it's got little flowers all over it. Really pretty. And then we have a basic tank top. This one was also from Salvation Army. Oh, does it have the size on it? It didn't have a... doesn't have a rip tag. Oh, it does. Yes, it does. Size 8. Sometimes they have it along the bottom, but sometimes they don't. So I'm always happy to find that. Like, I had no problem selling them, like, just by using measurements, but it's always nice to have a size tag. Another tank top by Lulu from Value Village. I think most of this bag is Value Village, but I will point out the ones that are from Salvation Army, because there are a few. Another Lulu top, purple with a built-in bra. Since I found like three bags of bra padding at the bins last time I was there, I, um, I've been putting them in all my Lulu tops and it's really paid off, it's really great. These are interesting, I've never seen these before. They have, what's the closure? Oh, they have snap closure on the front and they're pink and they're Lulu crops. Really, really different. Do they have a size? Yep, size six. Then we have another Lulu tank top, still has a rip tag attached, size 6, really intricate backing to it. As you can probably tell, Lululemon is like my bread and butter favorite thing to pick up. This is from Salvation Army, little grey tank top. I almost didn't know that it was Lululemon because, look at the Lululemon logo, is like folded over. So I think someone may have had it hemmed, because I don't think they produce a top like that. Or maybe it was like a faulty top, I don't know. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I was definitely hemmed. I can tell by the stitching, so I'll have to disclose that. Next, I have a pair of wide leg crops. These are an older style, they're from Salvation Army. And I've never seen this before, but the size dot is actually like right in the waistband there, like above where the rip tag is. Kind of weird. Super old style based on that. This one's from Salvation Army too. It's like a neon yellow color. It's got the built-in bra. These were a good find. So I had no idea these were Lululemon. I was looking at them and I'm like, oh these are so cute, like really cute pattern. And then I saw the little stub there and I was like, wait, is that a Lulu rip tag? 
And sure enough, it's Lululemon. Like, I don't know what style this is called, but I'm sure it'll be easy to look up. And I didn't find one of those, but I found two of them. So probably from the same person. Same style, just different patterns. And I was like, what? So awesome. I was really happy with those. Then I have another Y, I think they're called the Power Y tank from Lulu from Salvation Army. And we have just a basic black sports bra. So this I got for me. And it's from Le Vie and Rose Aqua. And it's the color that I love. It's ribbed. It's got really cute ruffled detail on the sleeves. I tried the top on and it fit. It was like a little bit snug, but I'm like, you know what? Like, it's fine. And then I didn't try the bottoms on yet, but I think they will fit. Really cute. Absolutely love it. Another Lulu tank, of course, from Salvation Army. This is just a really basic white sports bra. Salvation Army again. Oh, so I found two of my receipts here. So I spent $92.77 at Salvation Army. I spent $69.45 at One Value Village and 94.14 at another value village and I know I have like more receipts somewhere. I always keep my bins receipts like in my fanny pack that I take into the bins. This is from Salvation Army. Another Lulu tank. This I feel like I've sold before. It's um, one of the Lulu jackets from Salvation Army. In a nice royal blue color. These are reversible Lulu crops from Salvation Army. More Lulu crops. And these were actually inside out when I found them. But I looked at the stitching and I was like, that's Lulu, and sure enough it was. See, when you when you do this for long enough, you can tell just by like looking or touching things, which is amazing. Especially at the bins, when you're like digging through stuff, you can just like tell by touching something. These are older style Lulus in a dark gray color. They're covered in pet hair, yum. And the last thing from that bag is another pair of Lulu crops. Older style in gray. So. This little bucket, my sister does newborn photography, and I thought this would be like cute for like Christmas. Put like a little baby in there, It'd be so cute. Then I got a stapler just because I don't have one for my office stuff. A little Topshop glasses case in rose gold. This, I really love the color of it. It's by Armaton, and it's just this burnt orange quilted jacket, and this is from the bins. So now I'm like kind of switching it up, doing a little bit of bin stuff, a little bit of Value Village. This is by Zara Trafalic. It's a plunge v-neck romper. Got polka dots, really cute. This I thought had an interesting pattern. It doesn't have a brand, but it's just a skirt and it's got lace and like floral detailing on it. This is by Frank and Oak. Really needs a steam. Just a light pink turtleneck sweater. This is new with tags from Dex. Originally retails for $59. And it is a jumpsuit. Really nice pattern too. This is by Under Armour, just a basic blue tee. I think I found a couple of those, so I'm hoping to like pop them up. These are a pair of M&M shorts. I don't know if they're boxers, but I thought they'd be cute just as like loungewear shorts. This is really pretty, so it's Suzy Sheer. And Goodwill wanted $12 for it, so it's probably why it didn't sell. It's got this really pretty like buckle detail on the front. This is a kid's jacket, Zara Kids, just a navy blue puffer coat. This is so fun. I tried to fit it on my mannequin, but it didn't fit. Actually, did it? I can't remember if I photographed it on my mannequin or not. But like, if I did, it would have been in that bag. I don't know. But look at it. It's like really fun. It's got like mesh at the top, different colored blue stripes. Then I have this. It's by Urban Heritage, and it's got like aliens on the sleeve and it says I need space on it but I didn't notice in the bin lighting that it does have quite a bit of stains so I don't know what I can do with that. Maybe it can be tie-dyed. Who knows. These are by RBX and they are cropped joggers. I think they're gonna be for me. They do have some paint stains that I have to try and remove. I feel like you can just like scratch it. I found a little like mini pocket lint roller. Haha, <laughs> it's always great. This is by RW and Co. and it's so beautiful, but it has armpit stains. I think there's like some mixture that you can make with like lemon juice to get rid of armpit stains, but it has little like, are they paper crane? They have like little shapes of like flying birds and it's got like pastel pink colors. It's just really pretty. So I'm really hoping I can fix that. 
This is a swimsuit that's inside out. And it is by Krista. Just a nice little one piece swimsuit. Next I have this sweater, it's from Value Village. It's a Lucky Brand sweater, it's new with tags. It's just gray with some black floral detailing on it. So this is a matching set. At first I thought it was Gymshark because like it literally looks like Gymshark. I did a reverse image search and it's actually by Fabletics. So it has the top there as well as the matching bottoms and these I picked up at Value Village. Next from Value Village I have these shoes. They're by a brand called Anne Michelle and they're like this burnt orange color and they have like that stretchy material. Kind of pretty. I like them. Oh, here's my other Value Village receipt. $70. Next I have this pair of nude dad shoes by Call It Spring. I know that these are really popular. Next I have, so funny story about this, I actually picked up one of these, the exact same cooler from Talese and I was like, ooh, maybe I'm gonna sell it, but then I like used it and I was like, oh, it's so cute though. So I decided to keep it, and then I found the exact same one again, because these go like between 50 to 100 on eBay, it's insane. Like it's a Coleman, Coleman cooler. And I also stuffed some of my more value village boo-boo tanks in it, so I got this one here. And I've got this one with a built-in bra. And this one, which I think is an older style. Definitely. Alright, moving back to Vin's items. This is hilarious, because like these match the shirt that I'm wearing. I could have a little outfit. These are so fun. They're like this retro pants. I think they could be pajama pants, or you could wear them like out with a like solid t-shirt. That would look really fun. They're like this velour, burnt orange color. Absolutely love them. I try them on just for fun and they're hilarious. And then, I went to say then or next and I ended up saying then. Next from the bins I have this time maternity dress and it has this like black paisley print all over it. Floral design. Because like when you're pregnant, you want to like show off that belly with some cute, comfy, tight clothing. I get it. All right, so this guy does not have a brand. It has a size tag, however, which is always good. Look at how beautiful this is. One piece swimsuit. So pretty. This is, how oh, this is funny. It's a Sesame Street tank and it's got, what is this guy's name? Grouch? Grumpy? I didn't watch Sesame Street as a kid, so I don't know the names of the people. So go ahead and roast me in the comments for not knowing this guy's name. Is it Grouch? I'm gonna Google it. Oscar the Grouch! Okay, so I was like pretty close. I knew it was Grouch. Oscar the Grouch, and it says get over it. I just thought that was really funny. And then we have this beautiful hat by Solar Escape. Perfect for like a beach day. Oh, these are my guests. Oh, these feel so comfy. I'm gonna try these on. What size are they though? 28, probably won't fit, but who cares. Really cute distressed, they're by guests. I think I already said that. Joe Fresh. Track pants, they have to be depilled. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is by a brand called Unmade. And it's just this really soft scarf, long scarf. So nice. Oh, okay, how did this happen? That jumpsuit I showed earlier, I think it belongs with this. That might just be a miracle because I remember seeing this and I grabbed it just because I thought it was like a belt. But it actually goes with something. Oh, that's so lucky. This is Gap Maternity. It's a jumpsuit. Really comfy material. Perfect maternity wear. This is... Does it have a brand? Someone ripped the tag off so I don't know. It's like Wrinkle City though. Really needs a good steam. Just a great blouse. Definitely a plus size. I wonder if it has a size tag. It does not. Gotta love when people cut the tags out. I mean, I don't blame them though, because like they're uncomfortable. But whatever. These are Levi's, and they're not like jean material, they're kind of like dress pant material. But like, one knee is ripped, so I don't know what's going on there, if that was like an accident, but I thought it looked kind of cool. I don't know why I'm folding them, because I have to photograph them still. And this is definitely like a handmade piece. It's one of those chunky knit sweaters. Like people make blankets like this, but this one is, why did I say sweater? I meant blankets. It's a scarf. 
So Alex actually found me these because she knows I make my own little thank you cards. So they say wish on them and they're just blank on the inside. Wish in gold. And it was only $4 for like a box of two. So I was like, heck yeah, it's so cute. And those are from Value Village. These were a blessing. So like I was photographing shoes like a few days before I went to the bins and I, what I do is I have like some spools of ribbon that I like stick inside the boots, but they don't always fit in like every pair of boot. So I was thinking, I was like, oh, it'd be great if I found like pool noodles or something. But then I found a pair of boots that had these in them, like specifically made for boots, like from a retail store. So I was like, heck yeah. So I took those out and I bought them. Next from the bins, I have a pair of Ugg boots, black, and they're in really good condition. Then I have these, but they're by, I didn't Google this brand, but I'm going to Google comps right now. Fratelli Petridi, that's definitely it. Shoes. Shopping. Oh. Comps are kind of all over the place, but I'm seeing a lot in the 70s and like 50s. So I grabbed these because they're like a really pretty, like light rose gold color. And they're in good condition. So I think I got these because, so what I do with the plastic dividers, I use these when I'm shipping. If I ship something in a cardboard box or a paper mailer. I protect it with like plastic sheets and then I got like it has paper in it so I can just use those for thank you cards because I feel like stuff like this at the bins people don't really pick up so it's just gonna get thrown out anyway so like and it like weighs nothing so I probably got this for free honestly and then I also got this tote bin from the bins and when I found it it was missing the one flap so I was like oh that kind of sucks but then I found it in the same bin so that's always a good oh my gosh this is probably like my favorite find in a long time. So these were from Value Village and they are hanging on the end of the rack. So I was like walking down the active wear pants aisle and they're just there. And I'm like, wow, those are beautiful. And they're Lululemon. I grabbed them and I was like, oh my gosh, like how did no one buy these? Like, look at this. Are they not like the prettiest print you've ever seen? And literally like brand new, like no cracking in the logo. They do, oh, they do have a rip tag. I didn't think they did. Rip tags still attached. Like someone literally bought these from the store and then just donated them. So I'm like, thank you, I'll take those. So then I have, I actually sold this exact same pair. So I'm planning on just literally copying the listing and updating the size. So funny, I love when that happens. It's like so handy. Then I have this little BKR bottle from Sephora, I think sells them. And I have one in orange, so I'm probably gonna lot those two together. A bottle of leather cleaner from Value Village for all my leather shoes and purses that need some TLC. Then these are some Sam Edelman, Sam Edelman, I don't know how you pronounce it really. Just a pair of like little flat loafers. I'm running out of room. I'm just like, my, ugh. This room is like honestly a disaster. 